Okay, well, um, I will try to... Uh, I will try to put this, uh, these elections into the context of the wider um, landscape or political and electoral landscape of Western Europe uh, after the 2008 Great Recession. So putting these elections and these results in the broader uh, field of uh, election during the crisis. And I will talk about uh, three main, uh, main aspects. I will first approach this, uh, this issue that has already been mentioned by, by Shane of uh, incumbents losing and in this case winning or increasing uh, the results. I will then change or move towards uh, the analysis or, well, uh, towards really, about the center-left social democrats, progressive reformist uh, results in the UK in the context of the fate uh, of social democrats in Western Europe after 2008. And then I will uh, touch very briefly and very slightly the case of the rise of the UKIP in the context of the, well, uh, of the increase of the radical right, populist right, or uh, right with attitude in Western, Western Europe uh, again. Then, uh, what about this thing about uh, uh, the Conservative Party improving uh, the results in, in these elections? Well, it, it is true that normally uh, what government parties uh, do is uh, lose an election. So they lose votes, they decrease the, the share of the votes. But increasing the share of the votes, as we have seen in this election, is not uh, so uncommon, and in fact, what happened? What has happened with during this crisis or during the elections after 2008 is that one third, one third, that is not a, a very small number, one third of the incumbents during this crisis have been able to improve the results. So it is not very common. It is not, in fact, it is not the m most likely uh, outcome. But what we see in Western Europe, at least in Western Europe, because Eastern European party systems are more fluid and uh, more uh, difficult to compare with uh, in the case of the UK, what we see is that despite this very deep crisis that has affected electoral behavior and voting behavior so dramatically, sometimes one third of the elections have resulted in the incumbent improving the results, despite everything, despite cuts, despite austerity, despite uh, this content, demonstration, and this uh, social, social conflict. And in fact, that has been the case even in the last elections that have taken place in Western Europe. So you could say, okay, in the first election during the crisis, 2008, 2009, the incumbents were able to win or increase or improve. No, 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 no. One third, again, one third of the incumbents have been able to improve, to win votes, in the last uh, elections that have taken place in Western Europe. Then, what happened with the Social Democrats? Well, it is a fact, without any uh, discussion, that Social Democrats in Western Europe are suffering a very long-term crisis, so a crisis that is affecting them since the last decade. So it is not new, Social Democrats having trouble. So the normal thing is seeing Social Democrats decreasing the results they are gaining election after election. And some of this has taken place also in the case of the UK. If you compare the previous uh, elections, they were, well, the, the previous election to the start of the crisis in 2005, what you have there is the, the uh, Labour Party losing compared to these elections around five points. Is that a big lose? Is that a big number? No, it's exactly the average of what social democrats are losing during this 2008 depression election. So in those terms, the social democrats in, uh, in the UK are, more or less, on the average of the rest of social democrats in Western Europe. So you have the dramatic results of uh, the Greek social democrats 
But leaving aside that, the result is pretty similar in most of the cases. Some successful cases, but in real, well, the real picture of this is that social democrats are losing, and they are losing again during this crisis. And finally, what about the rise of the UKIP? Is this an extraordinary phenomenon? Well, uh, as you know, the, it has been said that during this 2008 depression or crisis, uh, many uh, radical right or populist right or uh, very conservative parties have increased their votes, and that is not true. So what we have seen during this 2008 crisis is that most, most of the radical right parties have not improved the results. So in that case, in the case of the radical right or populist right, the case of the UK is a bit uh, extraordinary. Only in Austria, with uh, FPO and uh, Tim Stronach, uh, Germany and the UK, and of course France, you can see this increase in populist right uh, vote. And, well, that's it.